pretty sure it's not supposed to be a Mount Rushmore. We'll see in a bit. We'll, we'll see. see yeah, I, I was, yeah, yeah. I, I'm looking, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? What's going on? But yeah, looking at Evos's draft so far, they basically drafted pretty much the exact same thing they did in the previous game. The only exception being the Jawhead being switched out. Am I correct? Yeah, uh, there's no Jawhead. There is no Jawhead, jawhead. and Cho. Uh, okay, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, same uh, exact same thing. Yeah. But I don't know. Is Evos going to get away as much? Because Jawhead's base stats for a lot of his abilities, the ejector, the smart missiles, are pretty are decently high in comparison to Cho at level 1. Cho Welcome is not going to be able to do as Legends. much damage or as big of a play at level 1 Five in seconds comparison till to Jawhead. The enemy so reaches we're just going to have to see at level 2? Maybe them. 4? Yeah, it's just one of those heroes where All you don't really want to fight at level 1, but we'll see if that is true because game 2 is ready. We'll see if Toda stretches out to a game 3 against Evo's SG. Alright, now Evo's take control of the right side immediately. Todak getting a huge oh chunk out. My Jonas goodness. is in trouble because the wave is going to collide. He is going to be on the Valir. Uh, he is going... Oh okay, yeah, Nanas is going to be on the Valir as Moon is going to be on the Kimmy. Okay, so it's just the names I was switching over. Right? I would say yes. Lord bless Todak for that AoE stun from Valir or he would have been mauled over for that first blood. He was, he was actually was that close. The referee for Pokemon was actually, I think, one bullet away from claiming that first bird, but um, a more safer start, a more safer start for Toda. We'll see if they can keep this up because it was actually JPL, he's already going to work. Yeah. Lime took the river shot, took the river sprite this time. Oh, wait, sorry, no, it wasn't Lime. He was just walking really close to it. <laughs> it's going to go over the soul. And what's really important, uh, uh, sorry, oh dear Bambi, but what's really important about it is the sustenance it brings you within the lane. It's like now I never have to leave the lane. Yeah, and, but I think Toda right now, they're not, even though it's... Wait, what is going on? I was about to point out, you, you are trying to match the claw with the Lunas, and Koi is just going to suffer, but they're going to jump in to engage E1, trying to take Soul down for that oh, first blood. So one last hit will do it, Moon will claim that. That is so unfortunate. So, so unfortunate there. They successfully do the dive, uh, they successfully go for the dive, as Toda initiated it. However, Soul had like three seconds on that. Vengeance. Yeah. Three seconds. That's all he needed. Oh, JPL. Great flicker out of the way. E1 not able to land uh, the abilities here. JPL doesn't want to really contest this, but he does kind of want to stick around for the XP. And Toda, they need to start running right now because he was actually are collapsing, and E1 will be the first victim getting caught out. Lan will claim that kill with that bomb. Let the weak melt away. Toda staying a bit too long. Yeah, over an overstay coming. Kodak here, I didn't expect them to want to go for it because, again, they, Evos did walk over a lot of things. They should have known that it was coming here. Yeah, Let's I mean, see. Todak's I mean, Todak's movement were kind of obvious. They want to take down So and hopefully chip down that tier 1 or even take it like what uh, Evos actually did in game 1. But the moment JPL showed up, that, that should be a sign where we can't take the tower. We should probably start thinking about backing off. But E1, open engage with that Tyrant Rage, Tyrant Revenge, and Nanas. Uh -oh. Hopping out the damage, but not enough to kill the show. Ah, JPL again. The benefits of playing show is that you're way tankier than the Jawhead. I'm pretty sure he would have died with the Jawhead. There. Yeah. But now, Rapid Boost being bought on the X-Ray. X-Ray hasn't been able to make the plays as much. Uh, he's just kind of absorbing the pressure, making sure he doesn't die, ensuring that the team does have a playmaking capability later soon. into the game rather than early. Well, still wanting to go for the tier 1, but again, E1 has been called out with the way of the Dragon right into the tower. And we will be taken out by Pokemon. Ah, uh, what is he doing there? Ah, uh, they don't even have a setup for a dive. He wants to be a little too over hesitant, looking for some information to keep control over uh, the turtle here. But again, they probably shouldn't get out. Moon's in trouble now. He has to get away. They're not stressed to push them off, but it's not enough. Moon dies instantaneously. No way he can make it out. Yeah, the power of flame shot. That was bullseye for Odia Babby, making it look so easy. Even though Koopa is one of the Still one of the best tanks in the game. Cho just doesn't really care if you have the mobility or if you're a tank because he can easily displace you no matter who you are. So now Nernas, he wants to defend the tier 1, but with JPL nearby, there's no way Ola can hold on to that structure. That is going to be the best. Yeah, they're playing a very textbook game here. Ola have to realize that. Ola have to realize that Evos is playing off of their mistakes. They're not doing anything, you know, super crazy or out of the ordinary. They know what they, uh, they know what the team composition can do. So why are they still overstaying? Why are they still making these mistakes? Now, they're going over to the top side, hopefully to punish Sol this time round. But I think they've given up on uh, putting pressure on him now that they know they have Vengeance on, so they have to rotate. JPL, Playmaker, right here. And I think it's just pretty weird that Toda are 
focus on so much resources on trying to kill off Samus when there are better targets to go for. Maybe the Granger, maybe the uh, maybe the Granger or the Knock. You know, so it he didn't kill so once, but that was just based of a bit of unluckiness that he did not have vengeance. But now Chico a bit caught out. Ivan again jumping right in with the bouncing ball, not able to convert that into anything. Yeah, good defense coming in from Product. We need to make sure this is the exact same position that they were previously, except Evos didn't get an early kill. So this is what game one should have looked like. Like, all right, you, you did, we did lose a little bit here. Oh no, we're, we're in trouble. The fire oh. coming up, but JPL, way the dragon, it shows his death bouncing ball doesn't let Bambi go through. The first mistake has been casted by Evos SG. And it's fine. They lost the Cho uh, and do not for that, but. They still managed to convert that into Moon. Definitely slightly better for Toda managing to punish Evo's, uh, Evo's SG for this one, uh, for that maneuver. And I was about to say that Evo's SG are kind of beating Toda at their best game, which is playing macro around the map. But at this point, I would say the lead still is in Evo's favor because they took that tier to uh, the bottom lane. Pokemon was uncontested the entire, uh, the entirety of the game so far. Yeah, honestly, Evos, they definitely made a mistake there. In terms of decision making, like, yes, they were willing to sacrifice maybe a member for that tier 2. However, they didn't want to sacrifice three members for a tower. So that's a little unfortunate for the big engage coming in here. Oh, instantly they caught Nernas and they killed the jaw hit. Nernas still surviving for now, but not for long. Odio Bambi takes that tier Chiku with a blazing duet. Will dance to his death. Three for Evos SG. Moon might be the fall of JPL just toying around with him. Not going to commit to that, but. Well, big mistake from Toda and Evo's SG, they will take this all the way. JPL, it feels like he's walking around uncontested, but he really is just, he is dodging everything with that uh, with that shit pole. It's actually ridiculous. JPL is just scouting on Toda at this point. Pokemon, yeah. Ranger, 6 minutes, is that VOD? Oh, those that are, are really going to hurt. Yep, yep, yep. Now, they've already got that. I mean, Evo's SG, they're currently at their power spike. Their carries have completed their secondary items, and they want to go on to Kodak as quickly as possible. They could bait out Turtle, but they want to get Lord faster, so just give me that buff, give me that sweet EXP in gold, and let's look to fight. Yeah, and Toda actually went for two Purify as well, both on, on both their cores, Kimmy and Ranger, but it's not really as effective as they wanted it to be because of how far Evo's SG are ahead right now. Not as far as game one, but it's still a 5,000 goal lead at 7 minutes. Not as great. Oh, not taking a little bit of damage there. I think he was just caught at the edge of it, but JPL oh. gonna make sure to punish Wave the Dragon on top of the claw. Chico's in trouble. He dies. E1 now trying to get out. He's not gonna find it. Then Nas tries what? to disengage, but he might be the next target. Luckily, he has two charges uh, of his flames, pushes them back, is able to escape with his life. Luckily, he had flame shot, or JPL would have been able to connect that, Jikun that last Jikundo uh, charge onto him and secure that kill. So, then I literally playing with fire at that point, but now actually taking on so in a one versus one. Actually, trying to get away, but there's Sonata. Actually, just buying time at this point. He's not going to get any kill. Pokemon with a mega kill. Uh, so unfortunate. They can't even play the side lane because they're just in full control. I think Evo's SG is maintaining mid priority and kind of pushing the lethal into the left and right. JPL goes with a very, very interesting, I, I would say a very risky play here. He's going to get punished instantaneously. Tyrant's Wrath trying to get bailed out with the help of Lund. He actually makes it out. He survives. Zero punishment coming in from Todok, even though they were so close to killing him. Evo's make it out alive. And as, and, and as someone who really likes show, this is what I like to do. You t when, I mean, when you have such a big lead, you can afford to toy with the enemy, and Cho is really good at doing that. And again, time delay from Diggy is just way, way too much for Toda to deal with. They were this close, but the damage from the course was just not enough. So Toda not able to convert that juicy kill into something, and they will be forced to play this base defense for as long Turtle as it actually soon. allows them to. Yeah, and we know for a fact that Todok is very comfortable playing from behind. They know that they can, they just have to hold the inhibitor talents here. However, Evo's SG, if they keep making mistakes like that and actually, you know, get punished for it, Todak might be able to come back into the game, potentially. They're looking for Soul, Ejack, and uh, this back, and now they should be able to kill him off, and they need to, that is these five members, but Toda, they need to instantly recall because... Yeah, they're gonna lose I don't know if that was... Is, are they going to make it in time? No, nah, they're not. They, they actually caught JPL. JPL a bit too far forward. Shen pulls out of the way as he survives the game, but E1 engages. Iron Spray's death run instantly pushes them back. Oh, BOD almost kills off Chiku. So, 
free win for Evo's SG, at least in that in the terms of tower trade. So like they get the tier one top, but Evo's SG they have more to lose. Okay, that's actually not too bad of a recovery. They pick up two kills, they pick up one turret off the top side for the side of Dota. They are catching up. They're a little bit behind. We can see the wall graph is definitely in favor of Evos. They're 5k ahead, but I think at this point, Kodak just has to hold on, survive the first Lord push, and after that, they are going to be even against Evos SG. And I, re and I like what Kodak is doing right now. They're using that joy to constantly cut the wave in the bottom lane because that is where Evos SG is going to utilize the crash in, but JPL trying to flank from behind. Nuna's getting oh. caught out a bit too low. Oh dear, Bambi immediately dashes over. Nuna goes invisible for now, but does kill now and x ray. Ooh, somehow still survives that. Yeah. Nona taken out as well, but the jaw head. Then you get that kill, double kill though, for that Granger and his Toda actually rolling shut over Evo's SG, getting the shutdown. It might be the 4 kill JPL. Immortality is going to bring it back to life. A cheek with here. Going to dry moon JPL, not going to make it out alive this time. And oh, he will be taken great. up. Killing speed for the Kimmy. Toda, hold on. They win the team fight, trading 3 for 4. They turn this around. They turned it around. X-Ray was able to trade one for one with one of the carries against Evos SG. When it shouldn't have happened, but a little preemptive coming in from Evos, especially when he used the harmony. He was like, ah, don't worry. I'm just going to use, you know, my light ult. It's going to be okay. I'm not going to get called the draw head comes running down. It's like, hey, what you doing there, little girl? Uh, there's a big punish. I told out on to Evos, but apparently he won't get caught out by Soul. But the ring is coming in. Back up his dad, though, and Soul. My half his own flame pops the vengeance, survives Muna Odia Baby being the backup. But Tola, now they are going on the offense. They should start playing. They should start playing right now. Oh, actually, yeah, you get the river sprite and then after that go for more because then you have the health generation. Because right now, Evos is down a lot of big battles filled. Flicker is down, Vengeance is down, Flame Shot is down. If they can take this really, really fast part, at least force Evos into another awkward fight, this is gonna be so, so good for them. Ewan needs to be able to find a good engage on this objective here because Tolak are setting up for him to success. Yeah, and he was actually then putting the trigger onto the great-grandparent of Hylos, which is the Lord, and then the security actually, so Tolak not able to even get close to that objective. He was Singapore securing that, that condition that might allow them to close out this VO3. Yeah, um, unfortunately, the River Spike didn't regenerate enough health for Kimmy to be relevant because again, one darkness would have absolutely destroyed her from the side of Bambi, so you don't want to risk your life, but they sacrificed Lord because of that recall. And hopefully they can survive this because so far they're looking pretty good. Oh, JPL again, trying to go for that face check. Does manage to spot up E1 and learn us, but it was actually don't have the resources to commit onto that. And so again, being caught out, no oh. vengeance. Oh, it comes back actually, it's going to use oh it, try to use that spell vamp to heal himself. Again, X Ray being caught out, so taking him out, but Trace is for that. So it's a 1 for 1, but E1 dies. At the bottom lane, so now he was actually gonna push him with that Lord. Claude needs to get back home immediately to deal with this 3 versus 4, and it's not gonna be easy. The Lord still full help, and he was actually gonna go and close this out the best they can. And told out the sword fishes will fall. He was actually close out this series.